Hey, what's up buddies? How you doing? This is your boy PK. Welcome to the channel PK Tech Tips, guys. Right there, my gaming setup. It's been waiting since a long time to teach you actually how could you double up your PC's GPU's performance. So if you have that reason, guys, what are you waiting for? Just go down, hit the like and the subscribe button, and let me go down on the computer screen and teach you how to do that. So what are you waiting for, guys? Let's get in the computer screen and do it. So we are on the computer screen, guys. So first we need to do is actually go to a start and start typing performance, okay? And we will get something called performance monitor. Click that up, open that up, okay? Once you open that up, bring that to the center. Okay, so here we see something called data collector set. We're gonna click that up. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is actually create a new data collector set so that the left resources of the graphics which are not being used could be used and our performance increases of our GPU, right? So once you click that up, uh, this one, you're gonna click up at user defined, right click that, check new, data collector set, click that up. Okay, so then you're gonna come with a window something like this, you're gonna rename it into graphics because we're doing it for the graphics so that you can remember that okay then we're gonna select the advanced that is create manually okay then click next now here we're gonna check the created data logs okay and check here performance counter and system configuration information okay once you've done that click next now you will come up something like this here you need to change the sample interval into a number which is equal to your computer's screens refresh rate for which mine is 60 okay once you've done that click add now here is the main part you need to listen this carefully guys so once you open that here you're gonna see a lot of stuff right here you're gonna go down find something called remote graphics fx graphics open that up you're gonna first click at frame quality add it up so that the quality of the frame increases that is number one very important of our fps while playing games then click compression ratio graphics compression ratio this does is actually reduces the compression so that the quality of each frame is of much better quality as compared to previously okay then output frame second that is our fps which is definitely needed click add and okay once you've done that click next and we don't have anything to do with the registry key next uh nothing to do with the root directory next now here, what you're gonna do is leave this as default. Just click open properties for this data collector set. Finish. Now once you've done that, you're gonna come up with something like this. Okay, what you're gonna do here is actually click add. So now after you click add, you're gonna on your caps lock, click GPU. Okay. Type GPU. Okay. So this will let the computer know that we are trying to change configurations of the GPU. Then click again add. And now we're going to type in our GPU's name. For me, NVIDIA GeForce 820M, enter. Then we're going to click again, add, and click how many times we're going to increase our GPU's performance. Any value between 1 to 2 is going to work. A value more than 2 or less than 1 isn't going to be effective. Click enter after you click to apply. Then you're going to go is to stop condition and check this overall duration. Now coming down to here, what you got to do is actually choose a value between one to five. If you have a very weak PC, then a value should be one. If you have a medium PC, then three. If you have a top end PC, then five, right? I have a medium PC, so I'll go for three. Click apply and okay. Once you've done that, you need to do is actually double click upon graphics so that you come to a screen like this. Then you're gonna click data collector one, right click that, go to properties, okay. Once you've gone here, you're going to do is again come down to sample interval at the left bottom and change it to your refresh rate of screen, that is 60. Then you're going to do is actually check the maximum samples and you're going to change this to 120. Why I did 120? Because we're going to increase our graphics performance two times. So 60 into 2, two times is 120. So that the screen also knows that yes, our performance is going to be twice now. Once you've done that, click apply. And okay, so that was it guys. Once you do this, you just need to do it. Just cut this up and click Alt F4 and then just restart your computer by changing this to, sorry, not shut down, restart. And once you restart guys, your stuff is gonna be done. You can feel the difference while playing the game and the performance of your computer increases, not the computer, but the graphics increases significantly for sure. So that was the video guys. If you like this, make sure to give that a thumbs up. If you didn't dislike it, Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.